Hey, good morning, and welcome to volume 192 of My Prostate is Trying to Kill Me. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer, and I'm glad to have you along for the ride. I appreciate it. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. Just a quick update. I didn't uh, put any videos up the last couple of days. I did go for my um, chemotherapy treatment on Monday, and if you remember from last week, it was postponed because my liver enzyme levels were low and I was having some issues with my kidneys. I went last Friday for a ultrasound and uh, they looked at those results on Monday morning. Also took the blood test as they always do and everything wasn't perfect, but it was good enough to be able to give me the treatment. So I did receive my uh, chemo treatment. And of course, um, Sundays I start my, uh, oh man, it comes a brain fog. Sundays I start my uh, steroids and which helps keep the side effects at bay. So Sunday, and then I'll take them on Monday and then Tuesday. And when I talked to my PA at my last visit, she said, because the crash is so bad, my God, look at, you know what, is this thing on? Oh, it is. Let me, uh... okay, that helps. All right, wow. And I guess I still look a little bit like Uncle Fester. Uh, I just need a big coat. At any rate, um, okay, so, wow, it was 10 seconds ago. Now I got to remember what I was talking about. 12 seconds later. Okay, went and got, the, oh, she said, if I wanted to avoid the crash, because um, the way it works is I take my steroids and then it, it helps to, you know, like on Sunday, I feel like Superman. Um, yesterday, I was really... I screwed up. I overdid it yesterday, and I, I hate that I do that, but it's one of the hardest things I have to deal with with this whole chemo thing is, is to not push, and I do. I mean, it's like every, every ounce of energy I have, I want to spend. I have stuff I want to get done, and I did, man. I, I blazed yesterday. I got so much accomplished, but you know, I paid for it last night, and I'm paying for it this morning, but uh, my PA said if you want to take one steroid on... <laughs> That's, that's Terry. I got to take this. Okay. So you probably heard my phone ring, but that was Terry Ciotta. And Terry is a, a longtime friend of mine that I've known, I think since about 2006. And uh, he had sent me a text last night to say, hey, you want to chat? I was already gone. I was wiped out last night. So I hit him back up this morning and he called back during the video. And so, gosh, I think we were just on the phone for maybe a half hour or something talking. But, uh, you know, Terry's one of those guys where we, like I said, we've known each other since 2006 and we don't talk that often, you know, chat a little bit here, chat a little bit there. And uh, then it, I, you know, he sends me a picture of himself and smooth dome. So he, uh, you know, he shaved his head in solidarity and we had a picture of him in one of the videos. In fact, here's one now. And we just, I was an awesome conversation. Uh, so paused it and I'm back again now. I have no idea what I was talking to you guys about before I paused it, but uh, at any rate, and, and this is, okay, this is crazy. This is something I want to point out too. When, when people say, uh, you know, how are you, how are you feeling? And my automatic response is I have good days and bad days, and I never know what that day is going to be like until I get it. So when I started this video, I was, I was feeling tired. You know, I'm, it's, this is the beginning of my six days of hell after my treatment. And uh, there, but God, I'm not getting this point across. Okay, so I was feeling kind of down when I started this video. I just wanted to do a quick update, let you guys know what's going on, you know, what's happening. I have some really good videos coming that I need to get produced and uh, put up, Ooh, listen to me, produced, um, that I need to get put up. But I was not feeling that great. And I, maybe you can see it now, more energy. I'm happier because I talked to Terry. So what I'm trying to express is the importance of if you're comfortable talking to somebody that has, you know, prostate cancer, anything that you have wrong with them. Um, never underestimate how good that can make people feel. I mean, it just, just to know that someone cares enough to pick up the phone and give you a call. And talk to you. And, you know, even just 
shooting the, you know, the caca about stuff from 10 years ago or whatever, or, or what's happening right now, you know, finding out, I love hearing about what's going on in other people's lives because it takes focus off of mine. And so at any rate, lesson learned here, don't ever hesitate to call uh, or text, you know, whatever, just let people know you're thinking about it. it makes all the difference in the world. All right. So uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I think I get the basics across. Um, this is going to be the beginning. You know, I have, I have my steroids, I have my treatment, and then I come off the steroids and then I get my six or seven days of hell, which is what I'm heading into right now. Uh, so I, I've uh, totally blanking. Terry and I were just talking about this. The word just disappears. Oh, I made a, a big old lasagna. Um, so I'm going to take half of it to my parents, take some of my sister. She's not feeling well. Um, and I'm trying to pick up the mantle on being the lasagna maker in the family. My mother, oh my God, um, the best. I mean, absolutely the best. And I have her recipe that she's been using from the Betty Crocker's Better Home and Garden no, not Betty Crocker's, Better Home and Garden cookbook from the 50s, the one that had the red and black checkers on it. And I followed that recipe yesterday to the T. I mean, exactly. And it's delicious. So I'm going to take some of that over to my parents today and some garlic toast and go see my sister, and, uh, take some to her. Then I'm going to come back. Got a few things to do here before I crash. And this afternoon, if you need to know what I'm going to look like, <laughs> I'll be I'll be feet up on the couch. I'll be gone. But then I've got uh, Dennis's uh, Zoom call this afternoon for uh, cancer support group. So I will definitely be taking a nap. And I want to be there for that. So anyways, thanks so much for sitting through this. I apologize. This was just supposed to be a real quick uh, update to let you know what's going on. And here we are. So love you all. Thank you so much for following. Uh, thank you for clicking the like button. Uh, thank you for subscribing and for sharing this. And especially thank you for all the prayers and the positive vibes, the good thoughts, um, the aloha, the shaka, everything you guys send my way, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And phone calls and texts, you know, thank you, Terry. You just, you made my morning, brother. I really do appreciate it. So I love you all. And I've got, I, like I said, I have more uh, videos coming up and I'm going to try and get some of those done today. So love you all.